Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to talk more about the options menu for pivot tables. If we click on options, last time we went through the layout and format tab, this time we'll do the totals and filters tab. This isn't a, uh, a bad one. The, f the uh, first two just decide whether or not you want grand totals for rows and columns. If you uncheck that, see this grand total here for the columns, it goes away and occasionally if you have things that you don't really want to sum, if you've got a different kind of data there or it takes too much room or you don't need it, uh, that's an easy way to turn it off. You can see we don't have a grand total for the rows here. And the reason we don't is because we only have one of each type of column. If we did something like this, and that's a percentage if we kill it all together. Let's come down and put dates in here instead. So now I've got multiple dates if I come up here and go to options tools and filters I can turn those off as well generally you want them on we'll leave them on the filters section is uh, there's an online analytical processing OLAP cubes that uh, if fairly sophisticated not you're not going to see a lot of it in uh, medical practice management software that handles a ton of data and what you can do is you can take a ton of data put it in an OLAP cube and then pivot the cube. I don't think you'll need to worry about the filter section here, but I did want to show you briefly the custom sorting. You can set up a custom list and then this checkbox allows you to use that custom list when you're sorting. Let me show you a quick one. If you go under this Excel options menu here and edit custom lists, these are the lists that come with Excel and then you see I've set up low, medium, and high here as a custom list. And it's an, if you want to set up a new one, you can click New List and just type the entries in here. Or if you've already got them in some cells, you can show up the range here. You can create this list, and what the pivot table option lets you do is use that custom list as one of your sort options. So if you've got four or five clinic locations, and you always put this location at the top, it's easy to put that custom list in and have it sort that way rather than have to drag them around in a manual sort. Pretty straightforward and easy stuff today on totals and filters. Next time we'll look at the display tab and we'll walk through some of these options. And we'll go from there. Stay tuned. We'll see you then. Thanks.